Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing about the Nanyang Business School MBA program that is situated in Singapore. We'll be discussing about the cost and the ROI of the MBA program and also compare it with NUS MBA and Oxford MBA programs. So let's get started, but after the music. Welcome back to the analysis. Uh, let us start the Nanyang Business School analysis by looking at the picture of the B School. On the left hand side, you can see the exteriors, and on the right hand side, you can see the interiors. But he, we are here for doing some calculations on the cost of Nanyang Business School. So let's get it started with the currency conversion. So, as you can see, one Singapore dollar is equal to 55 INR and one Singapore dollar is also equal to 0.75 USD. Also one USD is equal to 75 INR. All these three figures will be very helpful in our future slides. Now let us see the application fees and I will also give you a bit uh, of the info about the dates and the application requirements. So you need a bachelor degree. Also you need two years of work experience, good GMAT GRE score and TOEFL and IELTS score if your education was not done in English. But uh, I expect that if you're watching this video, you must have done your education in English. So you may not need to take the TOEFL and the IELTS. The application deadlines are on your screen. Uh, the first round deadlines are very near. It is on the 1st of November. And for the part-time MBA, they have separate deadlines. Uh, the first round deadlines are on the 4th of December. Moving ahead, you can see the course duration. Full-time MBA is 12 months MBA program and part-time is 18 months. So here you can see there is a lot of difference in duration. In NUS MBA, uh, where I'm studying, the part-time MBA is 24 months and the full-time MBA is 17 months. But here it is much more fast paced and much more compact MBA program. So moving ahead, let's see the tuition fees. For the full-time MBA, they are charging $66,340. And for the part-time MBA, they are charging almost $70,000. We have to note that this fees is including GST. For the NUS MBA program, the fees is excluding GST. So yeah, there is uh, quite, quite a lot of difference between the fees of NUS and NTU. Moving ahead, let us see the cost of accommodation. The cost figures I have got from Numbio and also uh, my own experience. So when you come to Singapore, very likely you'll be sharing an apartment uh, with two other people. You can also get university accommodation, but that is not always guaranteed. So we have to consider the overall accommodation cost based on the prices of apartments in the city. So if you are getting an apartment within the city, uh, you have to pay around $4,000. And if you get it outside the city center, $2,400. Important thing to note here is uh, actually your cost will come out to be a bit less than what I have calculated because NTU is on the extreme uh, west side and it is already outside the city. So it will make sense for you to live near the NTU campus. So very likely your accommodation cost will be lesser than what you can see in the screen but this is a general approximation of your cost of accommodation, which is coming out to be $12,800. For the cost of eating, we have to remember that we get, we get uh, super inexpensive meals in the, in the university and you can get one meal for $5.5, but you can also consider eating outside the university. And at that time, one meal will cost you around $12. So the cost that is coming out to be is around 7,695 uh, Singapore dollars for 12 months of eating expenses. Now we have to see the cost of not working also called the opportunity cost. So what I'm expecting is you have been doing uh, some work, you had some job and you were earning around 2000 US dollars every month before doing this MBA program. And that is why your uh, monthly salary was $2,000, which you will be losing if you do the MBA program. So the loss of salary will be 
uh, around 12 into 2000, that is uh, 24,000 US dollars. So this is the amount of money that you will not be earning because you will be coming to Singapore to do the MBA program. Now, let us see the final expenses. So on your screen, you can see the visible cost and the invisible cost. And the final calculation brings us to the final cost of the MBA program that is around 89,200 uh, US dollars or around 67 lakh rupees. So <clears throat> we should say that this is the expense, but uh, the cost calculation is not just about expenses because you will be also having some earnings while you are doing your MBA program. So let us see what is your earning with the internship income. So for the 12 months MBA program, you will be doing around three months of internship and for which you will be getting around 2000 Singapore dollars as your average salary. So within three months, you will be getting around 6000 Singapore dollars salary. Now this is your earnings during your MBA program. And the final cost will be the difference between the expenses and the incomes that you have. And uh, the final figure is coming out to be around 84,700 US dollars or uh, 63.5 lakh Indian rupees. So 63.5 lakh is a very big investment. And that is why we have to calculate how much will be the return of doing an uh, NTU MBA. So let us see. Uh, what is the salary data based on the economist education survey? So the return on investment will be around 73,190 US dollars. According to economist, this is the amount of salary that you will be earning after completing this MBA program. The cost of MBA was $84,700. So you will need around 1.16 years to recover this cost. This brings us to our final section of the video, which is the list of most expensive MBAs. Here you can see Oxford, NUS, and NTU that have been ranked one, two, and three in the most expensive MBA ranking. But you also have the ROI ranking where NTU has ranked at number two uh, and uh, NUS has, has been ranked at number three. So this ranking is purely based on the data that we have got from the surveys and also from Numbio and other websites. The real figures may always be different from what you can see in my video, but this is very important to give you a wholesome idea about the cost of MBA. Please subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends so that uh, I can spread this message across many other people who are thinking of doing an MBA and are concerned about the budget. Please subscribe to the channel, share the video, and until next time, peace.